you share with us what you know just stated here and spoke what the audience purpose your timeline? Timeline? Just briefly. Surely. The, the timeline sort of represents the talking point, the discussion point. Assuming, let's just assume the board said tonight we want to go with a firm. If it's us, we would suggest mid-October we have our first meeting with you. And mid-October we would meet to define the characteristics that you're seeking. We would define the, the advertising venues that you'd like to use, the advertising budget that you'd like to use, and certainly a uh, sort of a master calendar for the search itself. What's going to happen on what day and who's going to do what. By early to mid-November, the consultant, consultants, having worked with you, would have pinpointed the people that you'd like us to talk with who are stakeholders in this district. We will come into town and interview typically employee groups, parents, business leaders, perhaps um, members of um, the clergy in the community, um, perhaps uh, chamber officers, perhaps um, some of your uh, city fathers and, and uh, other leaders. We would compile that information around three questions that we ask those groups. Number one, tell us what you like about the schools. Number two, what sorts of issues are there that will be faced by a new superintendent of schools coming in? And then thirdly, if we know what those issues are, what are the leadership characteristics that you like to have in this new person? And we will gather that up into a report for you so that you can see what folks are saying. And it will most likely impact some of the reactions that you might have towards interviewing. It certainly will be used on our part for recruiting and for vetting candidates. Um, by mid-December, uh, after the closing, we would work with you, as I mentioned before, with a full list of candidates that have applied who are qualified. We'll bring in the short list, all the folks. You'll select who it is that you'd like to interview. And then by late December, we're suggesting in this model, the interview schedules will be completed and a new superintendent selected in January. You know, most of the, sorry, um, that was your question right for us. Oh, I'm done. Most of the, most of the articles that I read said that superintendent searches take a little bit longer. Um, again, one of the searches that, that you have done in Elk Grove that again was I'm quoting the Sacramento would be was six months. Um, is there any reason why we would be rushing through it? Um, other than maybe something that the superintendent, I mean, it's something that we have expressed to you. Because um, I'm not aware of that. I just want to make sure that the process, you know, mm -hmm. is done right. Because, again, um, I know that we have particular issues and, and sensitivities and hurts that we need to start healing those hurts and, and doing things. So I just want to make sure that we do it right. So my question is really, why three months and not six? Or The only immutable law for me is that I need two weeks of time between the closing of the application and the presenting of names to you so that I can do a good job vetting. Yeah. Beyond that, that's your decision and local circumstances. If it takes six months, six weeks in one community, that's up to the board. The board's determined that that's the kind of time they need. Okay. Again, I mean, we, we will be hearing from other firms and those types of things. I don't think that we have determined how long it'll take. I just want to make sure because these are like these are your affiliates that said that that was you know it's in the paper and when I did research on each one of these um, you know companies that are coming before us, it was just something that you all said. So I was just saying that is there a difference between technology because I think that our issues we might be a smaller school district but our issues are just as big as anybody else. Okay. No, the the two to three months that this represents is again a, a 
discussion going from a complete neutrality of any other uh, issues that might be known by the board and committee. <coughs> Yes, uh, again, about uh, 10 months ago, um, after a year's worth of vetting of about four or five, I'm not sure which, search firms from around the country, California School Boards Association chose um, McPherson and Jacobson as their representative for essentially recommending to school districts seeking superintendents who they would recommend as a search firm. That's the affiliation. And an important one, and we're proud of it. Yes. That, that part is quite impressive. I did appreciate that. Any further questions? Mm -hmm. Dr. Dean, thank you for joining us. It's been my pleasure. Thank you very much. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much for making it here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Four people, huh? <laughs> and you're on board. And three people. Unbelievable.